Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So this is our Swiggy application working perfectly fine. We are able to do the login. All the proper messages are coming. You can do the sign up. Maybe you can do the login. So I can do the login. I think I remember the username password correctly. And once you logged in, this panel will go away and we can actually go to our uh, the restaurant page. That is fine. We have to do a lot of things here. Like uh, on the home page, we can actually provide the search bar where you can enter your location, all these things. Now, till now, we are doing the integration with the Firebase and that is fine. We got the access token. We are also able to populate that access token in our Redux state. So if you see our particular state, uh, what all things we have, we have this access token, which we can send to our APIs for the authorization authentication. Okay, now uh, we'll talk about the integration with the actual APIs. Firebase is fine. Now we are going to use the Redux Thunk. You can write your own custom middleware also, but Redux Thunk is popular. Similarly, we have a Redux Saga, Redux Promises, but we are st we are sticking to the Redux Thunk for integration with the APIs. So what Redux Thunk does is, first of all, Redux is purely synchronous. It doesn't understand the promises or async actions. So what uh, Redux Thunk does whenever you are dispatching an action right so redux thunk will act as a middleware whenever you are sending a promise to the reducers it will intercept it it will wait until the promise is resolved and then only it will send the, the actual data to the apis to the reducer sorry so here we have introduced a redux thunk in our store already in the apply middleware we are passing thunk so whenever there is an api action is coming we will dispatch the API start. So these are actually other placeholder actions we are triggering. Okay, the API action has started. We make a network request using Axios. Now we either we get a success or failure, then we will dispatch a success action with the data or we will dispatch a failure action with the error message. Or if there is access denied, okay, some unauthorized request came, we will update the message in the Redux action. So this is a plain and simple. What Redux Thunk is giving us an opportunity, okay, whenever there is a sync action is coming, we can dispatch a multiple actions in a series, okay, dispatch uh, API start, make the actual API call, either there will be a success and callback based on the promise.then and promise.catch. You will make a success event, success, you will dispatch a success action once you receive the data from the API. So promise is resolved, now you are sending the raw actual data to your reducers and reducers are fine if you are, if they are getting the objects instead of promises everything is fine and your state is updated and then finally if you get a success you can call api and and you can actually use this for some kind of a loading state so whenever the api action started you can show some kind of a loader okay api is being going on api and means the redux action is updated loading is false for this particular action now i can just show the actual data Okay, and that we will also populate in the Redux. So there is a new state tree we can have, state, restaurant, category, and restaurant data inside it, okay? So what we are going to implement is, uh, we are going to write our actions, and those actions will be triggered from the UI component. Those actions will make a, a API call, will you will uh, check in the API response, if everything is, is resolved, they will dispatch the success action, okay? So this is our middleware, uh, this is our store, and we already have a Redux Thunk, we are already using it, and we are also using this dev tool so we can debug uh, uh, the Redux, uh, Redux state. And from the component, not now what we will do is, if we take a simple example of action, let's say we are writing our own login instead of uh, going with the Firebase, okay? So this is the login action which will be triggered now we are using Redux Thunk. So this can be intercept using dispatcher. Okay, we will dispatch, we will call the actual API service. Like this is the API service we are calling. Once we receive the data from this, okay, then only we will dispatch the success actions, the failure actions, and particular message actions. All these actions are in a particular series. So we intercept the async request then we, we are passing this dispatch. So you can actually, you can dispatch multiple actions. Okay, API started, API success, API failed, and API is over. So this is simple login. Similarly, there is a the registration, simple registration. We are using this dispatch. 
we are dispatching okay registration success once you call the api service this auth service will be using the axios way of uh, sending the api call to your api server now we are going to use it for our restaurant service to fetch all the list of the restaurant once user is logged in or maybe a public api to show all the category of restaurants if dot then means the api succeeded we can actually call the res uh, register success we can also send a data okay register success and this is the data we have received from the api set this in the redux state and we can actually subscribe that data from the redux store to our ui component so till now uh, our application is very clean we don't have a lot of complexity now what we are going to do is we are going to design uh, first of all the api integration like we are going to write this uh, auth uh, api service which will be responsible for making an actual api call and we will also be intercepting the each and every exos request and will be adding this access token which is needed for the apis to validate the logged in user okay so that is the next thing we are going to do so let's catch up uh, in the next video guys thanks everyone